This is Ken Paulson on board Sandy Beaches 23 uh, with Ed Jurdy of the phenomenal band of heathens. Right here, we're going to sell some of this product today. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Think, think of this as Home Shopping mm -hmm. Network for, uh, for for those on board and, and uh, you know, across America. Um, Sandy Beaches cruise, uh, you have been on before. Yeah. And uh, it's, and and how many times have you been on board now? I think this is our fifth one. Okay. So, uh, it was the first music cruise we ever were uh, ever were on, I think, and uh, we've done five of them now. So it's been great. So why is a cruise worthwhile for a young band? Um. Well, I think like anything else, the opportunity to make some new fans. You know. Um, also, in the case of this. Cruise, I think more than a lot of the other ones is uh, there's just an opportunity to do some creative stuff, you know, to jam with other people, collaborate. Um, you know, I mean, and honestly, some of the some of the original rock and roll guys are on this boat, you know, which is I mean, Bruce Chanel. Yeah, I mean, which is so, which is super cool for us. I mean, you know, we all grew up loving all this music, so you know, to sort of have access to the source of it is pretty, uh -huh. is pretty great. You know? Well, and it also, you guys are you tour a lot. We do tour a lot. And, and to have the same hotel room seven nights in a row. Same hotel room, no load in, no load out, um, you know, and to be in the Caribbean in January, all these are all in the plus yeah. column. So you're from Texas. Yeah, the which, band all uh, got together in Austin. Which explains in part why you're on this boat, because this boat is 70% Texas and 30% Nashville, I think. I think uh, we go a lot of places where it's about 70% Texas. Yeah. <laughs> so how did Delbert McClinton become aware of you and decide you need to be part of I this? I think maybe through Delaney. Um, well, and you know, and Richard uh, Millsap, our drummer, his dad, Dave, uh, played guitar for Delbert uh, in the 80s. So I think that would probably be kind of how the families knew each other. And then uh, I think Delaney kind of got hip to our music through Richard. So I was watching the band, uh, I've seen it a couple times in the boat, and um, I was struck by, uh, first of all, it's a really, it's a really fine band, great rhythm section, great guy on keyboards, and and then two lead singers, mm -hmm. um, and and all proficient, talented guitar players. So it seems to me like you've got this bass to be ambitious from, you, you can, you can, you can diversify your music just because of who you have in the band. Yeah, that's always kind of been the idea, I think, between um, sort of what our varying tastes are in music, just our ability to execute them, just because of the, I think the size of the band and sort of everybody's ability to branch out and do different things. Um, yeah, it keeps it definitely keeps it interesting. And is there a, uh, is there a model for what you do? It, hmm. You know, it, it it's not it's never fair to compare one band to another. Sure. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think people have compared us to the band a lot, yeah. I mean, just because of the the different singers. Um, and I think that's, you know, I think that's fair in terms of that's probably one of the bands that everyone's in agreement in terms of everyone likes them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, you know, with five guys in a band, differing personalities, different tastes. I mean, we all, you know, kind of generally like a lot of the same things, but then there's things that other guys like a lot more than other stuff. But the band is definitely a good touchstone for us. So which album is doing it? Is this third, fourth? This is our, uh, this is our fifth studio record, our eighth overall. The album before this was uh, more acoustic, it was, was um, and I thought it was really excellent. Uh, and you've come back to rock more on this one. Yeah, you know, we try to, uh, you know, just try to keep it interesting for ourselves. And I think, you know, really for people to come to see the band play. You know. yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, you can't bore yourself, right? <laughs> no. You sure you... If we're bored, then that's a bad sign for the <laughs> audience, you know. So I'm curious, uh, on this ship, you're seeing people from all over the world mm -hmm. and all over the U.S. in particular. Um, where are you the Beatles? Where, where, where what's your best market? <laughs> Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know, maybe a, in Germany at some point, but, uh, you know, we do really well in Texas and a handful of places in the States, you know. Um, I think for the people that like the band, I mean, like for any band, I think the, the people that are really big fans of your band, you're their Beatles, wherever, right. wherever yeah, you go, right. you know. And uh, when, you, when you do tour, uh, I guess the challenge is to make sure you reach out to your existing fan base, but then, and then go to new territories and and try to break Delaware, if you will. Yeah, you know? I think so. I mean, we've you know we've done, we've been all around the states, you know, seven or eight times, been to Europe five or six times. So uh, yeah, we have a good we have a good base to kind of work with, and you know, obviously, it's always the goal is to always make some new fans. You know? yeah, yeah. Do you see this as long range? This is going to be a band that can go another decade. Well, I hope so. We've we've done a decade already, which is you know that's something to be said. Right, right. Um, I think so. I think everyone really loves playing in the band, and uh, 
you know, there's an opportunity within the band to sort of be creative and do a lot of different things. And then everybody, you know, has other interests outside of the band too. So I think it's a good, good balance. New album came out, I believe, January 7th. Actually, it's coming out. It hasn't come out yet. It's coming out on fr uh, this Friday, the 13th. Okay, January 13th. Yeah. By the time folks see this, yeah. it'll be out either way. Yeah. I think the 7th was the day they were promoting the single. That so, sounds right. Uh, as though yeah. the, as though there were singles right. <laughs> anymore. Um, and and uh, but is there a, a track on here you think is particularly well? I mean, I don't know. We have, like all I'm asking is the first radio single. But you know, I mean, to Americana, which is more of an album format. I think you know, I think it reads well as an album too. We sort of try to you know we. Obviously, there's songs that people always pick out that are favorites, but I mean, we, we always make these with the idea of it being a record, you know, the idea of listening to it from the start to finish. Duende, out now. Real pleasure to talk with you. The Band of Heathens, their fifth album, and uh, you guys got literally a strong track record, so <laughs> real pleasure it. talking with you. Thank you.